Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for watching. Today I am doing a like March obsessions video basically. Very random things, some lifestyle. I literally have some snacks to share. <laughs> Um, some beauty and I think one fashion item. Yeah, it's one fashion item with you guys. All of these things are so, so good. I also have a giveaway coming in this video, so make sure to stay tuned for that and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start out with the snacks because those are like just so funny. Like when I was putting them together, I was like, I have to talk about these, but like they're snacks. So I have actually shared this before. I don't know if I've shared it on my YouTube channel, but I know I've shared it on my Instagram. And basically it is this combination right here. It is the Quaker like chocolate. I have you know, like four left in here, but it is the Quaker like chocolate um, official rice cakes is like the name. It is gluten-free, 100% whole grain. It has no added colors. It is 60 calories for one little rice cake. And then what you do is you put peanut butter on top. Now listen to me, there are two things that I refuse to change brands for in this house. It is peanut butter and mayonnaise. My mom said it's like a Southern sin to not use Duke mayonnaise, and I feel the same way about Jif peanut butter. I don't care about the calories, I don't care about the fat content. You can definitely, I'll link below my favorite chocolate peanut butter for you guys. Um, it's very similar in like calorie, fat, all that kind of stuff, but you do usually have to buy it in bulk. I can't find it just like a one jar of it around here, but Jif creamy peanut butter is so good. It's superior. So this on top of this rice cake, it's like the perfect snack that's not going to raise your blood sugar too much. So it's been really like definitely my favorite um, snack lately to eat when I get that sweet tooth. 21 weeks pregnant. I am approaching that glucose test every single day. This combo right here, such an odd little thing. I don't know if I've ever shared it before, but you will thank me. It is delicious. And I see people sometimes add, um, like people will add chocolate chips, bananas, honey, all that kind of stuff. Again, the goal is just to make sure my blood sugar does, doesn't get too high. So I like that there is like protein and peanut butter, but you are still getting the sweetness of that chocolate rice cake. And then this, I'm so glad I discovered this while I was pregnant because I definitely would have been eating this on repeat with my son. I swear to you, whenever I would eat oatmeal when I was breastfeeding my first son, it was like, <laughs> like a dam had opened up. Like it was crazy how quickly oatmeal would change my breast milk supply, even towards the end of my pregnancy with my first. So I've actually been just loving this because it's really high in protein. So these are protein oats with flax and chia and they are the maple almond. I get this at Sam's Club. It is so, so delicious. We actually made a special trip the other day just for this because I was eating so much of this. Um, it is gluten-free. It has maple syrup, uncycled oat protein. It has almonds, flaxseed, coconut sugar, chia seeds, and sea salt. You literally just take half a cup of this, half a cup of water, combine them together, wait like two minutes, and it is completely good to go. And that is 11 grams of protein, which is really good. I've told you guys on my vlog channel a lot. Like I really struggle to get a lot of, like or at least a decent amount of protein not pregnant so being pregnant I definitely try to make sure I prioritize that because it's just important so um, I like that this has 11 grams but it tastes so so heavenly so maple almond from seven Sundays. you can get it at Sam's Club but I will have it linked below for y'all just trust me if you are an oatmeal girl if you are breastfeeding oh the heavens opened up when I first found this I just gave it a shot and I will probably never go without that now. It is so good. Fashion item that I have are these sneakers. So I got these from Walmart. They are 23 or 24 bucks and I loved them so much. I got them in the red as well. I believe that at least when I purchased them, these are the only two colors available. I actually wear these a lot on my walks outside and then these are more just for like leisure, everyday wear. Um, I do find that just especially where I walk, it has a lot of rocks and stuff so it tears up the sole of even my most like expensive shoes um, very quickly. So I always make sure to like separate out a pair of shoes now just for when I'm walking because they are going to get torn up a little bit faster um, but I love the color of these they have a memory foam sole and I did I believe got my true size does it say nine and a half yes I got a nine and a half in these some of the like insides have started to wear off um, so they fit true to size very lightweight I just like how sleek they are but I like the color options as well like a white sneaker especially a more athletic looking sneaker is always great I wouldn't say these are good for running but if you do any kind of like inside workouts whether it's gym Pilates whatever and you do want to wear sneakers you're good to go with both of these so loved those for March these next two products are from the same brand and this is no shock but I'll 
I'll start out with this one. So this is the Dime Probiotic Gel Cream. I have mentioned this a few times here on my channel. You guys can use Mariah R20 for 20% off all Dime products, not sponsored, just absolutely love the product itself. You can see, I mean, we are getting to the very bottom of the tub with this one. I actually had to purchase one the other day. I've been using this nonstop. It's my favorite under makeup moisturizer. Some people I have seen um, on social media, they'll use this like at nighttime. I just need a thicker cream at nighttime for my face. And finally, my skin has started to behave. I wasn't sure for a while if it was pregnancy or the weather or what but once we stopped with that back and forth weather where it was like super dry and then and like cold and then actually it got to like warmer more humid temperatures and we're kind of moving now towards more just humid everything whether it's cold or hot my skin has calmed down so thankfully my makeup my skin all of it's just starting to look a lot better but I have like continued to use this the whole time because it's hydrating enough that it really was helping that dry skin but not too much that it was messing with my makeup so I put this on in the morning put my sunscreen on over it wait about like five, 10 minutes, usually I'll do my hair or something, and then I'll put my makeup on and it looks great all day. And then this is actually a, enter the Michael Scott quote here, an exact smell alike. You guys know that I love Dime, and I've said this before, they're not the best clean skincare line, I truly think they're just one of the best skincare lines. Like I have rosacea, oily, acne prone skin, very hormonal skin, and Every single time I use a product, it just always seems to take really well to dime without having any crazy effects. And they came out with perfumes a few years ago, and they have slowly been adding the most incredible scents. And they recently came out with Core Memory that smells just like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Like, I have smelled them. They smell identical, but this one is clean, and I swear, I'm wearing it today, and like every few minutes, I'm just like, oh, I smell so good. And my husband is very sensitive to scents, and this one does not like upset him him. There's yet to be, I believe, a scent that I've tried from them that like really upset um, his like, I don't know if it's his sinuses or just allergies or whatever, but scents really bother him. So whenever I'm wearing something like this and I can smell good without affecting my husband and making his eyes water, that's just an added bonus. Again, you can use Mariah R20 for 20% off, but if you want that smell of the light blue perfume, but you don't want to pay the price and you want a cleaner option, this is definitely it. It just came out maybe last week or maybe the week before, but oh, it smells like heaven. Now I have mentioned this product a ton here on Instagram, on Reels. This is no shock. This has been the lip combo. I'm actually wearing it today. This is the lip combo I have been wearing nonstop. It's from Morphe. Both colors are wifey. This is like, it's called a lip mousse. I would say it's very similar to like a satin lip color. So it doesn't have that true matte, but it's got like, it's not shiny. It's got like kind of a soft sheen to it, which I really love. I like that they're both the same color and they are both very affordable. This lasts for so long. This I'd say you're going to get about two to three hours out of, unless you add a gloss on top of any product I find. If you add a gloss on top of, it's definitely going to, you know, less and less time is going to last. But also if you eat, you're going to have to reapply. That's just totally normal. This isn't like some, you know, 12 hour long wear, but it doesn't dry out your lips either. So for that, I am so grateful. This has been the lip combo I have been wearing nonstop. The color is gorgeous. It's perfect for spring. Um, and so I love this one. But again, the price point is really good too. Now we'll talk about this. So if you are looking, oh my gosh, I put way too much self tanner on my hands. If you guys have any, like I have a remover, but I don't want to like completely remove it. I put way too much on my hands. Like my self tan pretty much everywhere else looks really good. And I should have been a little more light handed on it, but I was not sure. So please ignore the ridiculously orange hands. <laughs> but I tried this self tanner the other day after seeing four people back to back to back to back talk about it on my For You page. And every single one of them, they weren't sponsored. Um, one girl did add this product to like an existing, I think it was like a Bondi Sands. Um, she didn't show the brand, but like a Bondi Sands pump bottle that she has. I purchased a clear pump bottle just because it's really nice to know how much product you have left. But this is actually the favorite. I've heard so many people talk about this. You can get this huge bottle. It is the 
Norvell, I'm guessing is how you say it, Venetian Handheld Spray Tan Solution. It is an anti-orange formula and it smells like coconuts. Again, my husband, very sensitive to scents, walks in the bathroom and he was like, it smells like coconut cake in here when I was getting him to help me with my back. But this is just amazing. It has lasted beautifully. And again, if you, you know, just like want to add an additional layer, like you feel like you didn't get tan enough, you can just add another pot and there you go. Your skin's going to be much darker, but I'm definitely trying to like let my tan hands fade a little bit, but I'm hoping that, you know, everything else stays, but I'm really happy with the color. Um, it's a really pretty like natural color. It doesn't look orange. Um, and it's one that I have seen on girls who aren't redheads who don't have naturally super, super pale skin and it looks beautiful. And then, you know, there's me who's like got the, just the palest skin. Like my skin gets so pale. Sometimes you can literally see like my blue veins. It's so pale. So I love that that color's not too dark, but still buildable. <laughs> This is, I believe, pronounced Say. It's the Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer in the color Light Bronze. This is a cream product, and I absolutely love it. This is a clean makeup brand. Now, I have mentioned clean a couple times. I do want to say I am not an all or nothing kind of girl. If you are, that's awesome. If you're not, that's awesome too. I think life is lived in the balance, and so I will try to prioritize clean products over other ones, but it's not like a super hyper-focused goal on mine. So one thing that I will not give up is quality for cleanliness, especially when it comes to makeup, since I do have just very sensitive hormonal skin that always wants to misbehave. Um, I just find that like with a lot of cleaner makeup brands, sometimes they do forfeit quality or I find that a lot of them are really chalky. So I got a sample in of some Say products and I loved them, ended up buying a bunch of stuff and I loved it all. But this has been the one product that I am just repeatedly going back to. It is so good. It's a gorgeous color on lighter skin like I have. Again, it's light bronze is what I have. But I do want to tell you, I'm going to link this below for y'all. Um, definitely pause and maybe don't buy it right now. The Sephora Spring Sale starts on the 14th. And you're going to get like 30% off if you're a Rouge member. And then I think the next step's like VIB. You get 20% and so on and so forth. Um, but that is going to be a really good time to get a discount on their products. And this is when you get at Sephora. So if you are interested in trying this, pause for a second. Wait till the Sephora Spring Sale. And then you can buy it then when it is a much better price. I have mentioned this product before. Before, but I want to show you guys just what I keep it in. So it's actually not this bag. It is all of the gel polish colors that come with it. So that is what I wanted to talk about. Um, this gel polish has hands down, without a doubt, been my favorite addition to my routine since like the beginning of March. I think I actually even ordered this maybe early February. I am loving gel nails at home. They're so easy. I say this all the time. Prep work is most important. I have shared that on my Instagram before, kind of like the steps that I go through. Your nails essentially need to be super, super dry. Your nail beds need to be dry. There needs to be no oils on them, no water, nothing. And then when you go ahead and start, like after you've buffed and filed and everything and you start the gel nail process, I am getting a week minimum out of my nail colors. So every single thing that you are seeing from pretty much here over and then here up, all were the colors that came in this gel nail kit. I will put a picture up on the screen of everything that's included. It has a light. It has the cuticle oil that you need to use after you're done with your gel polish. It comes with alcohol wipes to help make sure your nail beds are clean before and after. It comes with files. I mean everything. The color option that I have is set five and that's going to give you all of these like brighter color options. But I am just loving how long the gel nail colors are lasting. I'm loving not having to worry about chipping. I'm loving just how having my nails done and not having to actually go to a salon. Um, I bite my nails if they are not done, so I have to keep them done pretty regularly. And that is actually what I am giving away in this video. So um, I purchased one of those exact full kits in the color set five, so you'll get all the colors that I love. And just like every other giveaway I have, all you have to do is put this emoji in the comment section below and then tell me what is your favorite product from March. It doesn't have to be something in this video, like something that you loved. 
um, and then make sure you are checking your notifications because once I pick a winner in order to keep it fair I have to have a response from you within 24 hours because um, I want to make sure I'm not holding on to this stuff for like three four weeks so make sure you're checking your notifications you should get a response back from me um, like it should tell you on your little notifications when you open up YouTube that I commented back and I'll let you know um, when you win and all I need is your address from you so that's what I'm giving away in this video because I want one of you guys to try that gel nail kit because I know you will love it like I do next up this incredible hand sanitizer, I did not understand the fad until I tried it. This is vegan, cruelty-free. You're going to get 500 pumps out of here. I even got my mom obsessing over these. I shared these all the time on my Amazon Live, on my Instagram. I have them all over the place. Diaper bag, purse, car, house. Everywhere that you could potentially have hand sanitizer, I use this. Um, I like that it is vegan and cruelty free as well, but I like that for this tiny little thing that fits so well into every little space that I have it in, you're gonna get 500 pumps. So this is the Frosted Mint scent. My favorite of them all. You can get them in packs of three or five. They have some citrus ones that smell good. The aloe smells really, really good. But for some reason, the frosted mint is the one that I keep gravitating towards. So I love this one. But again, you can get a three pack or five pack on Amazon. I see them all over my TikTok. They are amazing. And then an honorable mention for the month of April. Now, of course, we are just a few days in, but I have made it a goal. A couple goals of mine this month, um, read 15 minutes at least every single day, which I have done, and I want to train myself to become a morning person again. I used to be a morning person. I had an internal clock of 6.05. I could get up, get ready, do everything. I was like so ready to go by 7 o'clock on the dot, and once I had Ezra, of course, you know, as a new mom, like no one expects you to be this like up peppy person, but as his sleep schedule got more predictable and I had the option to kind of change back and have those really productive mornings, I didn't. And now that he is officially, like when you're watching this, he's two days away from being a year old. Um, his sleep is super predictable. He sleeps 7.30 to 7.30 and it's a dream and I need to get up. I needed to just be able to get up, get ready, get things done before he wakes up because my day was starting later and later and later. So I have decided I want to start being a morning person. Today I'm on day two of training myself to do that. And actually I heard that this book is great and one of the things he talks about is an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. It is called Atomic Habits um, by James Clear. This book is amazing. So many of you guys told me that I would love it and you are right. Um, I am like flying through this even at 15 minutes you know a night it's a very easy read and he just makes sense when he talks like he's not one that uses all these like crazy examples he uses some but it's not to the point where you're like okay get to the point like what's the point of the book this is a really good one so kind of an honorable mention for the month of April um, but that is something that I hope I can come back to you guys in May and say that I have done it. I have trained myself to be a morning person again because I've done it for literally just two mornings and it has been so nice. Like, it's not fun to wake up at 5.30, but the productivity that I am getting out of that, like, two hours before my son wakes up is unmatched and worth every minute of it. So that is it for today's video. I feel like we kind of fly through that one, but I wanted to only do the top 10 things that I was obsessed with this month. So thank y'all so much for watching. Again, don't forget to enter in the giveaway. You have to put the emoji with your comment and also click the subscribe button. I'd love to have y'all join my YouTube fam. Love you so much and I will see you in my next video.